A new study on human brain function and memory in aging people has revealed that performing non-invasive electrical brain stimulation on a person can lead to improvements in their working and long-term memory. This randomized double-blind study was conducted by Robert Reinhardt, a cognitive neuroscientist at Boston University, Massachusetts, with his associates and was published this month in Nature Neuroscience. According to the study, this phenomenon certainly applies to adults over the age of 65 and it was also found that the improvements in the brain function lasted for at least a month in those volunteers. The researchers applied oscillating electrical currents to specific areas of the brain through electrodes of the scalp of senior citizens aged between 65 and 88 years, which is also known as transcranial alternating current stimulation or TACS. This was done repeatedly over a course of four days for a duration of 20 minutes each with waves corresponding to frequency of our natural brain waves. The researchers noticed memory improvements in those individuals that continued for almost a month. Previous research has identified a dual memory system in one's brain. One's memory is either stored in a capacity-limited working memory store for brief maintenance of information or an unlimited long-term memory store for a longer sustained maintenance of information. Thus, if the unique rhythmic mechanisms in these regions are identified, then their brain rhythms can be independently manipulated using various techniques, such as the one used in the study to improve memory performance. Based on this, the team demonstrated that stimulating the inferior parietal lobe located further back inside the brain with moderate electrical currents enhanced working memory, while improving long-term memory depended on stimulating the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex, a region close to the front part of the brain. There were a series of three experiments consisting of 150 participants in total. By applying high-frequency and low-frequency waves in different groups, the participants were then asked to recall a list of 20 words, which were provided by the experimenter. Each session lasted for 20 minutes. It was found that longer-term memory improved in 17 out of 20 participants who received high-frequency gamma stimulation or their ability to recall words from the beginning of the test. Similarly, the short-term working memory improved in 18 out of 20 participants who underwent lower frequency theta stimulation and thus remembered words towards the end of the list much better. The research team hypothesized that this long-lasting memory can be explained by a mechanism known as entrainment, in which brain waves spontaneously synchronize to outside stimuli like music or flickering lights. According to one of the authors of the study, Shrey Grover, the consequence of modifying the timings at which brain cells activate is that it initiates this process of plasticity. The term neuroplasticity refers to how the strength of the connections between our neurons constantly changes in response to brain activity. Overall, the study revealed that low-frequency theta stimulation improves short-term working memory and high-frequency gamma stimulation improves long-term memory. The study also found that those who had the poorest memory capabilities initially displayed the best and most rapid improvements in their memory enhancements a month later. Whether these improvements occur for everyday memories rather than just for lists of words, remains to be tested and is a question that is still unanswered. And whether these memory improvements can persist for longer than a month is another key issue that remains to be tackled. The team which conducted this study continues to expand their work and look at whether TACS can help people with conditions such as Alzheimer's disease, since the study indicated that brain stimulation might provide the greatest benefit to those who have poor cognitive function and memory to begin with. For The Print, this is Gaurvi Narang. For more, log on to theprint.in and follow us on our social media handles.